everyone, welcome back to my channel, Manny's by Katie. Today I am going to be doing a video on um, nail dipping start to finish. And I'm going to be using like the bare necessities to show you how to do dip nails if you're a beginner or you're newer at it. This is just a helpful video. It's gonna be prep to top coat every step and I'm gonna show, I already did this hand except for my top coat. Um, so I'm gonna be showing you this hand and I'm gonna show you everything from prep to application to shaping and buffing and filing and then activating and top coat. So I hope that this help, um, video can be helpful to some people. I've had a lot of requests for a video that was from the very start to the very finish I have a lot of friends and family that are wanting to start dipping their own nails that have asked for this type of video as well. Um, I do have separate videos on my channel already. So I have one that's for nail prep, I have one that's for application, and I have one that's for um, shaping and filing. So I don't have a video that is everything combined yet, so that's what I'm going to be doing today. So hopefully you find this helpful. I did go ahead and cut my nails down and I did go ahead and shape them inward. Before you start dipping your nails, you always want to file your nail inward so that whenever you dip your nails and the dip adds bulk to your nail, it doesn't fan out like a, I want to say like a duck foot. If you don't file your nail inward, then it's going to get really wide at the tip. So I went ahead and filed my nails inward as you can see. and. I did prep all four of these nails. I did not prep this nail. So I'm gonna show you how to prep your nail just on my pointer finger, just to keep the video as short as possible. So let me go ahead and grab this. This is an e-file from Amazon. It was about, I think $17.99 is what it's for. It's in my um, link tree, which I'll put in the description box. All my nail dip essentials that I use or um, have used, and you don't have to use them for every Manny, but it is stuff that I have purchased myself and I have that all in my link tree in the description box. I'll post all that. So I bought extra bits for this drill. This is a cuticle, a cuticle drill bit. It, to help, it helps remove your invisible cuticle. So let's go ahead and turn this on. I like to just go around the edges. As you can see, it's really flaking off and that would be like dead skin and your invisible cuticle there. So I just like to run that around the edges of the nail. I don't do it to the middle or the tip of the nail because every time I redo my nails, I'm filing the regrowth. So that's all I do with that. Turn that off. And then, um, but before I do that, I forgot to add this. I do push my cuticle back and then I do that. So sorry about that. I did forget about that tip. And then after I do that, I like to go over it with my buffing block. Not a whole lot, just real quick. And then after that, we are going to take some rubbing alcohol. I have it in this little push down bottle. So you can just pump it. And then you're just gonna clean the debris off of your nail. So make sure it's nice and clean before we start dipping. And then this is something newer that I've started to use. It's a nail dehydrator. Um, here it says apply for, you can apply this for acrylic and UV gels. So I have started using this. Um, it's not really necessary for me because I do my nails almost weekly or every week and a half or so I do my nails. But I do like to use this on like family and friends when I do their nails so that they can make it three plus weeks with their, their nail dip. So let's go ahead and use that. I got this from Amazon as well. I can also put the link in the description box. So you just apply a little bit of that and now we are ready to start dipping our nails. So I like to do the Apex method and today I'm going to be using Flurry from Revel Nail, which is a glitter and glitter is a bulkier nail dip powder. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, typically I do three dips of clear to build my apex and then I do two to three dips of color but since this is a glitter and we're gonna need to cap it in clear I'm going to do two dips to build my apex of clear and then I'm going to do two dips of the glitter 
And then we are going to do one dip of clear, and I've really enjoyed using Manny Boss Dip Powder, her um, clear that she has. I love it. It doesn't dull my color, it doesn't dull my glitter. So this is Rebel Nails Clear. I like to just use it to build my apex because it's they're pretty affordable for their dip powders. So I like to use theirs because it's cheaper. And Rebels isn't bad, but I do like Manny Boss's clear better. So I am going to show you how to do um, this method on my thumb and my pointer. And then once you guys get the idea watching me do those fingers, I am gonna speed the video up just so I can keep it as short and sweet as possible. That way I'm not taking up a ton of your time whenever you're trying to learn how to do this. So we're just doing one line. I'm going about three quarters of the way down the nail because I am only doing two dips to build my apex this time. If I was doing three, I wouldn't go quite down this far, but since we're only doing two today because we're using glitter, I'm gonna go a little bit further for that first dip than I typically would. And with clear, it typically absorbs the liquid pretty quickly, so I like to just go ahead and do a second dip real quick, and then I will brush it off. And now we're gonna go in with our second one, and we're gonna go a little bit further and a little bit wider than that initial strip that we did. but don't quite go to the edge of your nail and don't quite go to the cuticle. Okay, so we have built our apex with the clear. And now we are going to be going into our color, which is Flurry by Rebel Nail. I am using Double Dips Liquids. Here is the step one, which is, well, it's actually step two in their system, um, but it is the dip base coat. I love Double Dips Liquids. Um, I've tried Rebel Nails and I've tried Rossi's and now I've tried Rebel, or I've tried Double Dips now and Double Dip is my favorite. I do have discount codes with Double Dip, Revel, and Manny Boss. So I will put all the links and discounts, um, discount links and my discount code to these companies in my buy, or in the description box. I will also link my Instagram in the description box if you wanna check out my Instagram. I don't post all my Mannies here on my YouTube channel. It's just whenever I'm doing tutorials. So if you like my manis and you enjoy seeing them, then go ahead and head over to my Instagram and follow me so that you can see all of my manis. All right, so we're gonna go in here with our glitter color, which is Flurry. It's a really pretty sparkly wintry blue. And you want to make sure you don't get a lot of base on your brush. You don't want your nail to flood when you're applying the base coat before you dip. So try to keep your base coat as thin as possible, but make sure you have enough to coat the nail before you dip. Just make sure it's not too much or your cuticles will flood and it'll make a mess. So there's our first dip. And then I, even if it doesn't look too bad, I like to just run around my cuticle and clean up any excess that may have gotten down in there. I just run this around. Um, these are also linked in my link tree, which I said I will put in the description box. I love these. I just like to use it around my cuticle after each dip.
And if you don't feel like purchasing an e-file right now, you can, um, you can just use a buffing block or a nail file and just go around your cuticle to remove that invisible cuticle before you apply your dip powder. You don't have to have an e-file, that's just what I prefer. It's faster and it's easier to get right in there along the cuticle line for me. off the excess powder here. Also, if you are newer to dipping and you're a little scared about it, I do recommend using a, like a fine glitter color or a shimmer color because those powders are a lot easier to use and they really do hide any flaws that you might have if you didn't do such a great job, you know, dipping for your first time or your first few times. Um, they really do hide any imperfections, so I would recommend using a fine, gl fine glitter dip powder like I am right now in this video. I'm stumbling over my words, sorry. But I would recommend using a fine glitter dip powder or like a shimmer because they are very easy to work with. Clean up our cuticle. On our two dips with our glitter we are going to brush it off and now we are going to go ahead and do a dip of clear over top so that whenever we are filing and buffing our nails we are protecting this glitter that we just applied um, you don't have to use clear over every color but I do recommend using it over shimmers glitters um, just to protect them while you are shaping and filing your nails after you've applied the powder. So, like I said, I am using Manny Boss Dip Powder. I'm using her clear, and I've really enjoyed using it. I've used it for probably about, mm, I'd say two months now. And it doesn't look like it's very clear um, right now, but once we activate, you'll see it come more to life and it'll show that um, clearness more. done applying our dip powder and so I'm going to stick that to the side we're going to brush it off any excess powder and we are going to act whoops that could have been bad good thing it wasn't open so we're going to activate our nail now and this is what hardens your dip powder so that it sounds like acrylic whenever you tap on it and after you apply your um, activator 
You wanna wait about two minutes before you start filing and buffing to make sure they have hardened. You wanna be gracious with your activator. Um, you don't have to be careful with it, it won't hurt you. It's just simply to harden your dip powder. So put that to the side. We'll need to use that again after we are done shaping and filing. We'll activate one more time before we do our top coat. So while we're waiting to let this harden after we've applied the activator, I'm simply just going to show you the bare necessities that you need to dip your nails for the first time. So you'll need your dip liquids. I prefer double dip. They are really easy to use. They are shiny, they're long lasting. They are the best liquids that I've used for like family and friends when I do their nails. They hold the longest, um, typically three to four weeks with no lifting, no pop-offs, which is amazing. Uh, with Rebel Nail, I was getting about two weeks, which isn't terrible, but whenever you're doing people's nails, you want them to last. So I really like Double Dips liquids. You will need a buffing block. You will need a nail file. I have these linked and these linked in my um, link tree in my description box. You don't need this, but I really like to use it. So I would recommend buying these. You'll need a makeup brush and, or just a, any fluffy brush. It doesn't have to be a makeup brush, but I mean, it looks like a makeup brush. And you will need a cuticle pusher. These are, oh, and then you'll need your dip color. So this is what you can do. This is the bare necessities that you can purchase to do your first dip manicure. Um, just these things, this, the nail file, the buffing block, the fluffy brush. You can probably find all four of these things around your house. So really you would need to buy your dip liquids, a color of your choice, and I do recommend buying a dotting tool. If you do purchase a glitter, you are gonna want to splurge and buy some clear powder to encapsulate your glitter. But other than that, this is all you need, and I think we are good enough now that we can go ahead and start filing and shaping our nail. Let me put those off to the side. So first off, I like to go ahead and start by taking in the sides. I like to use the finer grit side of my nail file. So we're going to just reshape our lines that we first made before we started dipping. So we're just gonna even them all out. I am gonna do my best to stay in frame here. So right now we are just going over and defining those lines that we first made before we started dipping. So I like to file the tip to make sure it's nice and flat and not bumpy. And then I like to go along the side and just curve it in just a little bit and just level out the sides so that it's not bumpy and it is smooth. But most of my shaping occurs before I even dip my nails, which is why I really angle them inward so that whenever I do dip my nails, I don't have a lot of filing to do and I don't file off my color. go we've got them all filed nice and smooth nice and even we got them angled in and we smoothed out all those lines and now what I like to do is I like to just take the curved part of my file and just go along my cuticle just kind of rock it along my cuticle line if you can see that file in there I just go in there and I go around the edges just to make that line there look sharp that's what really makes your cuticles look nice and clean. Be careful though, you don't wanna hurt yourself, but if you get it right in that dip there and curve it around, it shouldn't hurt you at all. You can even use the flat side. Sometimes I do that just because it's easier. Whenever I'm maneuvering my file, I don't feel like flipping it, so I will still use that flat side too.
So once you have um, filed the edges and gone around your cuticle, sorry, cuticle, you're just gonna take your buffing block and you're just going to smooth out the surface of your nail. If you apply your dip powder nice and evenly, you shouldn't have to do much buffing. This nail is already good. It's nice and smooth. You're just gonna take your buffing block along the whole surface, get in around your cuticle, buff it nice and smooth, and then I even like to do the tip of the nail as well. filed and shaped our nails um, I am gonna go in right here a little bit I do see a spot that I kind of want to even out a little bit more um, but now that I've done that I am going to just go rinse my hands and I will be back and we will um, activate again and do our top coat real quick and then we'll be finished okay I am back and I have cleaned up my workspace here I got rid of all the little um, nail shavings I guess you'd say and so we are going to go ahead and do our second activator which is what you do after you rinse your nails and you just use water whenever you rinse your nails do not use soap just water I guess I should have mentioned that before you maybe pause the video to go I don't think it will hurt if you use soap but I would just use water and I am going to go ahead and do this hand again because I got it wet whenever I rinsed my other hand. And the activator does dry really fast, so if it looks like there's not really much there, it's because it's just kind of evaporating very quickly. So here we have the um, step four, which is double dips, um, dip top coat. And I have this little um, holder here. My sister gave it to me. so. I don't have a link for these, but it is really nice to hold your liquids in place so they don't tip or anything. All right, and then you wait about a minute after you've activated a second time, and I just like to take a lint-free cloth. Um, I did get these from Amazon. They came with my pump bottle for my rubbing alcohol. Um, I'll see if I can link those in um, my link tree as well for you. Um, but I just like to take one of these and we're going to just rub our nail. You wanna be pretty rough with it. You really wanna get that activator off the surface of your nail so that whenever you're doing your top coat, your brush doesn't harden. So we're just gonna rub that nice and good. Get all that extra activator off before we apply our top coat. Once you have wiped your nails off, you're gonna put this one to the side. You do not wanna use this. And we're gonna get a fresh, clean, lint-free cloth. You can use a paper towel too. I use those a lot. And we're just gonna sit it to the side here because whenever we um, do our dip top coat, we are going to brush it off on that little cloth. So with our first layer of um, top coat, we are just going to keep it to two to three thin strokes. So we don't want it to be super thick. So we're gonna start at the base, drag up, one, two don't worry about capping the edges or the tip and again we're gonna go one two we're gonna wipe it off between each um, coat that we do so that we don't act or we don't contaminate our bottle So see how I did, I kept it to two, um, two swipes per nail. And now we're going to do our other hand. Once again, we're gonna just keep it to no more than three strokes, um, swipes, sorry, for the first layer. And like I said, you wanna keep it super thin and swipe it on the cloth between each nail. All 
All right, and now we're going to go in and do our second layer. And this is the layer that you can be a little bit more detailed and make sure you get all your edges and cap the tip of your nail as well. So this one, you can take your time, be nice and precise with your application and cap the tip of your nail, just kind of swipe it across there. And if you don't use double dip liquids and you're using like Rebel Nails liquids, this is the same process that you're gonna want to follow. It's the same thing. And this is what is gonna get you your shiny top coat and it won't be foggy and it'll be nice and shiny for you. shaking all right and we're gonna go to the other hand here you still want to keep your second layer as thin as possible so that you're not flooding your cuticle and also so that it dries for you And then we're just gonna give it like two minutes or so and I do want to show you how fast it dries so we'll just give it a couple minutes here and I will touch it to show you that it's dry and then I will put cuticle oil on but that's a pretty simple tutorial on how to apply your dip powder so you can see it up close I am gonna take a picture um, it's nighttime right now so I'll get a picture in the morning and I will post it at the end of this video so that you can see the finished look. So we should be pretty good here, I think. Watch, um, watch it not be dry. <laughs> yep, we are all dry. So see, it's that fast drying. That's why I love Double Dip's top coat. That was like, what, a minute or two? And they're already dry and they are so shiny, not foggy, I just touched them and they are so shiny. So you definitely, I recommend double dips, liquids for sure. Let me go ahead and put um, cuticle oil on here so that they look nice and fresh, not so dry. I'll have to put on my really good lotion tonight before I go to bed. Apply your cuticle oil. I do also have these linked and the cuticle oil that is in them I have linked as well. All right, and we are done. So there is a quick, easy tutorial for doing your dip nails at home, start to finish, prep to top coat. I hope this video was helpful to you. If it was, please give um, it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. You can even tap the bell to get notifications when I post a new video. I am gonna try to post more frequently. It's been really busy with the holidays. I was doing pretty good. Um, so I'll try to get some more videos out, hopefully some um, Valentine Manny tutorials coming up. But thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it, and have a great day. Bye.